This is our friend's living room and they've hired us to transform this space to better fit their style. This is an exciting week because after several weeks of hard work, we're finally putting the finishing touches on this space. So buckle up and join us for the adventures of my DIY wife and her non-handy husband. Before we get started, we want to say thank you to Tommy John for sponsoring today's video. Tommy John designed their products for motion, so that means no pinching, bunching, or riding up. They offer premium fabrics, innovative fits, and problem-solving functionality. I have been really impressed with the quality of the loungewear and sleepwear that I picked out. It's incredibly soft, stretchy, and breathable, so it's perfect for these insanely hot summer days we've been having in Texas. The first outfit I picked out was the women's lounge tank and lounge jogger, and they are so soft, so stretchy. I'm probably gonna say that a lot, but I really do love the pants because they are really lightweight, which is perfect in these crazy hot summer Texas days that we've been having. And they're stretchy, but they don't stretch out. I have a lot of pants that'll stretch out and they get all saggy and I don't wanna wear them out of the house. These I can totally wear out of the house and will probably be wearing them a lot this summer. The second outfit I picked out was the women's second skin luxe rib sleep tank and short set. And you really can just tell it is a high quality product when you get it. It is so buttery soft. It's really lightweight and like they claim it really doesn't bunch or ride up and it is really comfortable to sleep in. If you're interested in trying out Tommy John, be sure to click the link in my description box and use code DIYY for 20% off plus free shipping. If you've been following along in this home makeover series, you'll remember that we started this living room transformation by adding arches to the built-ins around the fireplace. The next big project in here was refacing the fireplace with stucco and that completely changed the look of this room. Finally, we painted the built-ins with a bold accent color, had new flooring installed, bought new furniture, which means this space was really starting to come together. But really, the planning process started way before any of those projects. It started several months ago with me figuring out the overall design and vision for this space. All right. So this is the part I get really excited about and that I've been spending a lot of time thinking through. We are planning to go with a really light modern flooring for this house. Not, not so light that it's gonna be like trendy, go out of style kind of thing, but this will have a nice like kind of white oak feel to it. Same luxury vinyl planks that we've used in the last big project we did. I love these floors. For the sofa, we're gonna be, do a really big low sectional in here. And I found this perfect velvet. We thought of going with leather, but one, it's super expensive and it's just not as cozy as a nice fabric sofa sometimes. And this color is perfect. This is actually gonna be our kitchen cabinet color that we are going to do on the built-ins as well on both sides of the fireplace to bring in a really rich pop of color. And I am so excited about this. And then this is the rug that we plan to use. It just adds some really nice texture. It's a nice light neutral color, but also be good for hiding, you know, any kind of pet stains or anything like that. So soft, cozy. I love this rug. We put it in our closet and now I'm like, where else can I put this rug? This is exciting. And now that we're seeing all of these design decisions come to life in front of us, I am so happy with every selection we've made. And that brings us to where we're at today. All right, so this week we're going to be finishing up the living room, getting it all staged, everything totally done. And the first thing I need to do is to actually paint over the stucco with the stucco paint. So we're running to Lowe's, we're gonna get that paint. I need to grab curtain rods and a couple of other small things. Then we're gonna get started on finishing this space and making it look beautiful. Okay, so first on our list of stuff to do is to paint this stucco on the fireplace, but Lowe's ended up not having the right kind of paint or the right color, they couldn't mix it. So Dean's gonna go pick up paint from a different paint store while I mask off around this. Hopefully by the time we finish, he'll be back with paint. All right, welcome back to the show, everyone. It's good to have you, Dean, here. Just thought I would give you a little history lesson on my way to the paint store. So some of you might be wondering, how did this whole DIY wife thing get started? Well, a few years ago, I was actually running a recording studio where I did music production for clients. I did a lot of lessons, like guitar, piano, etc. And at the same time, Andrea had been doing her DIY and design projects for the last 10 plus years in our different homes. And she was doing furniture flipping at the time. And I just said, hey, 
I think we need to start filming your projects and putting them on YouTube. And so she was like, are you sure you want to take out time from the studio to do that? And I said, let's just try it for six months and see what happens. And so I started taking two days a week out of the studio and coming and filming her furniture flipping projects and some of her design projects like our bathroom renovations. And I had this little goal in my head of what if we could hit 1,000 subscribers in the first month of doing this channel? Because it took my studio's channel over 12 months to hit 1,000 subscribers. Well, the DIY Wife channel hit 1,000 subscribers in nine days. That is like rocket ship pace. And then within the first month, it had hit 5,500 subscribers in its first month, which it took my studio's YouTube channel nearly three years to get to 5,000 subscribers. So we knew we were onto something right from the beginning. And then at month three, DIY Wife was actually selected as YouTube's creator on the rise. And so for a day, we are on the front page of YouTube along with huge channels like Mr. Beast. Then over the course of the next several months, we started just vamping down what I was doing in the studio and vamping up what we were doing on DIY Wife. We hired an editor. We started doing more house renovation projects. And this is now what we do full time. So that's a little history lesson for you on DIY Wife. And I am now at the paint store, so I will catch you inside. Um, I'm picking up an order for Andrea Davis. All right, I'll meet you up front. Okay. All right. Thanks, sir. Thank you. You have a good day. I appreciate it. There's just so many kind folks in Texas, you know? I just love it here. Let it go. Let it go. Turn away. Stop the door. Hello. I, I was like, I thought it was you. I brought you paint and a designer. Yay! Oh, Aren't they? Oh like, my gosh! This is what makes me go. Oh, in my house. I'm freaking out. They're so much better. The couch. <gasps> oh, I'm so jealous. Wow, it looks so good. This color is awesome. You did it. My friend and fellow designer Justine came over to help finish and style this space and she helped me make a pretty important decision. What I'm trying to figure out is if we even should paint it or what to do. I, <laughs> Bring in the big brains here. <laughs> I I really like it. I wouldn't paint it. I don't I don't think you need to paint it at all. I think I really like the texture and like the different colors because of the texture. It just looks really uh -huh. organic. And I think if you paint it, you're gonna lose like the dimension in this like different color variation. A little bit of, yeah, that dimension. I, this is why you bring in the second brain because that was my one thought. I was like, I'm gonna water the paint down. I would be sad if you painted and it. And then we'll still see it. I we can always paint later. <laughs> In the end, we decided not to paint the fireplace because we really didn't want to risk losing that beautiful texture and dimension that it had. And so I sanded down some of the rougher areas and then vacuumed the entire fireplace. I can't stop. I can't stop. Mm. It's official. That is now the most annoying sound that you have ever made on a construction site. After finishing up the fireplace, we decided to take a quick lunch break with our friends. We're going to lunch! <laughs> lunch break! Bought the same purse and the same swimsuit. Like swimsuit from an talking. online store, like not like from Target, like, like a random, like small, a random store. small shop. And we bought the exact same swimsuit in the same color in the same purse. You know so. you're on the same wavelength at that point. Yeah. After lunch, we were ready to get back to work. We started by hanging these brass curtain rods that I picked up at Bed Bath & Beyond. We decided earlier that the black curtain rods that I had picked up at Lowe's that morning were just not going to work in this space, but these brass ones were perfect. For 
the curtains, we went with these natural linen colored curtains from West Elm. And I say this with every project, but it is crazy how much curtains can transform a space. All about the fluff, it's the flick of the wrist. <laughs> you see that? Could y'all stop beating this couch? <laughs> what? After hanging the curtains, it was finally time to start styling the bookshelves, and this is something I have been looking forward to for weeks now. We wanted the bookshelves to be mostly filled with books, but also wanted to incorporate some of the unique family treasures that they've collected over the years. ensuring that I will not be decorating or have any decorating I'm gonna make sure that I'm not asked to do this job. That's right. Oh, I love the webbing on that side. The wisdom, yeah. styling the bookshelves, I was ready to put the finishing touches on this space. In the end, I love how this space turned out and it honestly might be one of my favorite rooms that I have ever designed. Well, man, how amazing does this living room look? And you put so much creativity into it, so much hard work into it, and really made it look elegant and beautiful, and it totally matches their style. And I know they love it, you love it, we all love it. Yeah, I've been saying this to Dean, but I really think that this space in particular might be my favorite that I have ever designed, ever done, and so beautiful. It doesn't look like the same room, and like Dean said, it really matches their style from the stucco fireplace and the bold, fun color, and then that sectional, I mean, it's just perfect together. And then even adding like the curtains, it changed so much yeah. such a good feeling at the end of the project to be like man we nailed this one and it looks beautiful well you have definitely elevated this space and stick with us because next week we're moving into the dining room portion of this main living space and andrea is going to put her magic sauce on that and i can't wait to show you guys so we'll catch you in the next episode And I just want to say thank you again to Tommy John for being the sponsor of today's video. Pros. Look at this good looking pillow. Well, not if you do that. Oh, I love it. She loves the living room more than her own husband. Not like the same than I love you. Maybe a little more. Okay, great. <laughs> I'm just kidding.